Well, hello, I'm back and I have a new piece of furniture that I'm working on. So I thought we would go ahead and I would go through it step by step once again because I've done two tutorials now and they are still selling like hotcakes. You guys are making me feel so good. And um, it's uh, one of those things that you do, putting it into steps has been the hardest part for me because I usually just stand back and just go and then I stop, I walk away, and I go. And so putting it into steps has been really the biggest challenge here. So um, if I miss a step or you feel like I need to see more of that, I appreciate your feedback, but please know that I'm doing the absolute best that I can every time that I do this. Um, but this is kind of, it's hard for me to go through step by step. I'm not a methodical type person. I just usually do what feels right and what I think comes next. It changes almost with every single step too. So if you have purchased my other tutorials, um, thank you so much. The first one was 10 and the second one's 13. This one will probably be 13 also depending on how long it is. But I'm gonna cram as much information in here as fast as I can because I know that your time is important also. And so um, I, I showed this piece a few weeks ago and I wanted to give it kind of a um, Moroccan finish. And I say Moroccan because when you add teals and you add reds and fuchsias and hot pinks, it gives it a little bit of a Moroccan feel. So this is what we're after. I did the entire front side of this and now I'm going to work on this entire piece for you, this side. And we're gonna go through it step by step. And um, I used DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary, which I am now retelling at Reclaimed Warehouse and more. Um, if you are needing a link or have any questions, please feel free to reply or ask or private message me at shop at the turquoiseiris.com. You can always contact me that way. Also, when you purchase this, uh, you should have also received the link to order the, all of the paint products that I used as well. And if you have any questions, just ask. So we started on this piece with sea glass and mint chip. And they are two really gorgeous, soft, um, and I literally, We'll have rolled them on at the same time. So let's get started. Guys, there's no rhyme or reason with this. There is no getting it wrong, no getting it right. You just go. And I had a person message me today, actually, after watching my tutorials, and she's stumped at how I can create, if I'm doing them in sections, I always say work in sections because you want to work when your paint is wet. So how, she says, how in the world are you going to get that side to match that side? Okay, I have filled in, looky here, we're getting closer, aren't we? I'm already getting excited. Okay, so now we're going to grab the Bohemian Blue. It is like the prettiest, um, darkest teal. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? Ooh, it is so pretty. So we're going to get this and now we're going to start grabbing our water. So get your water bottle handy and I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to kind of work my way down. I know you can't really see the top. I'm trying to get a really good close view. So I'm spraying the water on here and I'm just going for it. You guys, I'm adding this. I'm going to spray it here and there. I'm not covering the entire piece, you guys. I'm just going to do mainly around the edges and a few spots here in the middle on this middle panel, but I'm not going to do the entire piece with the boho blue because I want that sea glass to still shine through. So dip. Spread. I'm gonna dip, spread, and then spray. Okay, I know it goes on heavy, so we're thinning it out with our water. Keep stroking with your brush until it's smooth and your lines disappear. Do not cover it all the way. I love that the sea glass is kind of starting to come through here. Um, I am going to go through these edges right here inside this and go with the darker color because that is the way a piece will wear naturally. The part that's closest out and get used the most will fade more. 
Guys, I don't know what the temperature there is. It's August, it's hot in Oklahoma, it's humid, so I'm shining, I apologize. Okay, so I'm gonna spray water. I'm gonna do this. The sea glass is gonna come through. The mint chip is gonna shine through. I'm not covering it all the way. My goal is for this entire piece to be darker at the top and fade as the paint gradually goes down into a more fading, almost a more green look. Okay, paint, dip, spray, blend. Okay, keep doing that over this entire piece. to do that because the bohemian blue is fantastic but because I wanted the color to kind of take on a little bit you can see that this is more teal and it fades to a little bit more blue in this area and I wanted a little bit of an ombre so I'm grabbing Hey Sailor and I'm going to tilt my camera I don't know if you'll be able to see me but we don't care about me you want to see the piece so I'm going to tilt my camera just a little bit at least I think I am hold up Okay, so now you can see a little bit better here what I'm doing because the, I'm, we're blending. We're gonna do a little bit of an ombre. So I've grabbed Hey Sailor. It's a little bit, it's kind of a, it's a really pretty almost navy, but it's brighter than a navy. I don't think it has much black in it. So I'm gonna start fading it right here in the middle. So right where I stopped with the boho, see how brighter that is, that blue? Guys, when you add the water, you can just mix it right in with that bohemian blue. This is where your drips are going to start because I like to make a little bit of a mess on the finishes. So I'm re-dipping just on the tip of my brush. I don't want to get too much paint on there because I really don't want to glob. I do not want it to come all the way solid I want that sea glass to come through so hopefully you can see yeah you can you can see this here it is spray wipe and blend and so I'm going to let this blue drip a little bit because I do want it to look like it's faded over a hundred years in some Moroccan plaza maybe a Moroccan church now let it start dripping. It kind of gets rid of the lines and the streaks if you just let it drip naturally. And I'm going to do it heavier than other areas too, you guys. I'm not going to keep this equal. I'm not even looking at the other side of the door in reality. I'm not even looking over there. <clears throat> I just wanted the top to be the darkest part, which is where I'm going to show you to use the black wax. This part down here, I'm going to end up using the clear wax next. After we add our fun fuchsia, which is called Kissing Booth, here with the DIY paint. Okay, so you can see right here where it's starting to drip and fade. And over here on this side, it's much lighter. Okay. I'm going to continue to do that down on that bottom drawer. There's actually drawers down there that you can't see, so I'm going to do this part real quick. It's a big wet mess right now. We're going to step away for a few minutes and let all of this dry. I'm going to angle the camera a little bit further, and I think I'm in your light. Am I in your light? Yeah. So I went all the way down to the drawer. So we're getting closer, aren't we? Look. We're getting closer. So next, after we dry, we will start adding our kissing booth, which is gonna be this fun pink that I've added in here. And we're gonna bust out the palette knife. The teal, 
the hay sailor they're both drying the drips are going on down here but i'm going to get started back on the top because this is already dried so i'm going to grab our kissing booth now this is when you need a palette knife see this it's been used i you can get a separate cup but i water this down and i mean watery like watery drippery so i only need a little bit of kissing booth then if I'm looking around, I forget that I'm supposed to look over here. Apologize. So, guys, water it down. Get your kissing booth. We're going to do this. And this is where it gets messy. And I should have probably have it on an apron or something. Why don't? Okay. You want it literally, look, start dripping off. Okay? Okay, I'm going to start at the top right here where you can see me in this inset. Right here. Look. Okay, I'm scraping. I'm gonna add, I, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. This right here, I'm doing it in the creases. On the other side, I did a lot right here near the lock. I'm not gonna do as much over here. There's no reason to. So it's bright right now, but look, I'm scraping it into the finish. Hear it? I'm actually making my dog bark, I guess. Or she's barking at something. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm working really quickly with this, you guys. I'm not going to let it dry. I'm going every which direction. I'm letting that fuchsia get down in these creases because it really complements the teal well. And when you add teal in the fuchsia, you get this. Look, look what that, look what just happened. You see that? See how the sea glass and the mint chip just came through? I am playing that, but I like it. Those are my boys. Sorry. You see them in the background? Aren't they cute? Hopefully they didn't hear me. They, they didn't know they were on camera. Okay, look, 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 look. This is when you're scraping off a top layer of paint, you guys, and it looks like the pink is actually underneath it. It's not, it's on top, and this palette knife is what's doing all these tricks for you. So listen for the noise, scrape it, Please get it in there. Just get it in there in those nooks and crannies. Take your palette knife. Wipe it. Get something to wipe off the paint and all the chunky paint that's drying. So can you see up here a little bit, you guys? See that pink I've added up there to the top? Grab the water bottle. Grab it. One little dab. This is the part that will make you feel like an artist. This is where you're blending. Okay. This is my favorite part. So see, I have scraped off a lot of this boho blue while I'm adding the pink. I need a rag. I need a rag. 